Hello everyone and welcome to the video. With my last post being more of an impromptu sketch, I wanted to try to give myself a little bit more of a challenge and a direction with this one. So with this image, I would like to try to simplify as much as possible. I'm gonna try to get away with using as simple shapes as possible for most of the sketch. Just basic squares and triangles, maybe some abstract shapes for the shadows. Um, but yeah, I really just want to challenge myself to simplify as much as possible. It is something I tend to overwork my paintings, um, you know, and sometimes don't know when to stop. So hopefully this will help me, you know, get a little bit better at that. This image has a relatively simple background, so I'm not at all going to try to define it too much. I'm just going to leave some basic building shapes. Um, and then with the large white building in the foreground, you know, it's basically a giant square with a triangle awning. Um, that will, you know, be my three main shapes, you know, the the large square building, the triangle awning, and then the background, as well as the traffic pole and light poles to help with some of the perspective uh, and direction of the sketch. So I pretty much just started with a bunch of warm square tones for the lower part of the building, I left the upper part white. Um, I use this greenish, tannish tone for the windows. Um, <clears throat> and then later I will come back in with some cooler, more defining shadow shapes. Here I'm just trying to put in um, a warmish shadow tone on the left side of the building. These will be the lightest tones that I have in the shadow area so I'm not going super warm and light but keeping in mind I'm going to be going much darker with the later washes. Now here underneath the awning, I'm trying to give the front of the shop some definition and details. So I'm basically just painting some large square shapes to define some windows and doors. And then within the shop window, some random shapes, you know, maybe make something look like a mannequin. Um, but I'm not actually painting anything specific. I'm just painting, you know, shapes that somewhat look familiar to the eye. Um, and then a lot of this will get washed together when I come back through with the shadow tone later on.
Now these poles and traffic light um, are important to make the image, the sketch a little bit more readable for me. Um, it helps with the perspective and then this traffic light in the foreground, you know, really makes it more readable as an intersection. And like I said, I won't be defining the background too much. Here I'm just putting in a couple additional shadow shapes, you know, maybe some doorways just to add a little bit more dimension. Now these shadow tones are pretty important to me um, to have relatively accurate just because it will make the definition on the face of the building as readable as possible if I get these shadow tones as accurate as possible. Continuing here with trying to keep my shadows relatively accurate. I mean, you could tell I did make some mistakes, but it still made the sketch look much more readable than without it. Here I'm just trying to make this traffic light look pretty good. Um, I used cadmium red for the red area. Uh, and then most of it is just burnt sienna and neutral tint. And these side and background shadows 
are most important for perspective and to help anchor the building into the image as well as you know really solidify the perspective so to me they are relatively important to have at least look accurate perspective wise not necessarily shape wise i'm sorry i just smacked my microphone there <laughs> Alrighty, and here I'm just, you know, putting in some final um, shadows and dark tones to really flesh out any small details of the image, make it look a little bit better, as well as these um, power lines fading into the back will make the left-hand side of the sketch not only more interesting, but <laughs> as I've said five times in this video will help with perspective in case you guys can't tell i'm pretty big on perspective a lot of the times you nail the perspective it'll end up looking good Alrighty, everybody and here we are with the final result i'm pretty happy with it i definitely learned a few things and i think i did an okay job uh, with my challenge on simplification um if you like my content and would like to see me make anything uh specific leave a comment down below um and if not i will see everybody in the next video everyone have a beautiful day and keep on creating